While speaking on JNN's interface with host Kimberly Broderick, Managing Director of the Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, JSPCA, Pamela Lawson, disclosed that the monkey that has been making headlines since July was caught on Wednesday by the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, and JSPCA. When I went there, I did see the monkey. It was sitting quite high up, eating away, not a care in the, the world. world, and moving totally through the trees. I didn't realize that there was just such a beautiful line of trees going all the way through Jack's Hill, going up the hill. There was no way of catching her. I'm, I'm a person not going to try and catch it. And monkeys are, can be quite as, as sweet as this little one is. I wouldn't handle her. Mm -hmm. And there's also the risk, of, like I said, of, of diseases or yes. infection. And they're, they're quick. They will bite. They bite really well. So wouldn't be touching it. So we went around. We enlisted also the help of Hobzu. Mm -hmm. We set traps in the trees and not on the ground because <laughs> she obviously wasn't coming onto the ground mm -hmm. and especially in her favorite places. And by the next morning, there she was sitting in a cage. The white-faced capuchin monkey was caught and placed in quarantine by the Veterinary Services Division. Nepa notes that the species is a carrier of the hepatitis virus rabies, and other dangerous diseases, which can be transmitted to human beings. Mrs. Lawson explained that it is clear this is a part of the illegal pet trade. Definitely. She was somebody's pet. Wow. Whether she got away or they couldn't manage her, that's the next thing. And they just opened the cage. It happens. They, mm -hmm. It's more than they can manage. Fly, let, let them out. The JSPCA managing director said the monkey is to undergo tests to determine if it is carrying any of these diseases. A decision will be made by NEPA and the Veterinary Services Division on the fate of the monkey once test results are received. Well, once the animal was captured because of the, the you know, biosecurity, we, take, we called the Veterinary Services Division immediately. Mm -hmm. They came straight in wore masks, etc., protective gear, and they climbed up the tree and, and collected her in her cage. We safely secured the cage, and then she was transported, because she will have to undergo testing as well for our own well-being, because she has been loose, and she does appear to have been loose for quite a little while. Nepo says the presence of this potentially invasive species poses a significant risk to Jamaica's ecosystem and agricultural sector. In the meantime, NEPA says it has been tracking an increasing number of reports of monkey sightings across the island in recent times. It says reports have been received from St. Anne, St. Elizabeth, and St. Andrew. The importation and trade of non-native species without requisite permits is illegal under the Endangered Species Act. An offense under the act can attract a fine of up to $2 million and two years imprisonment. Janae Williams, Frontline News.